Hi, this is Brian Kim, and I'd like to share with you my approach to the easy setup and positioning of a toric intraocular lens. First, in the preoperative area, I like to have the patient sitting upright, and I use a toric marking instrument to mark the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions. As you can see here, the 3 and 9 o'clock positions are uh, well uh, shown here. I like to fill the anterior chamber with the viscoelastic to help firm up the anterior chamber so it facilitates the marking of the axis. And I also like to dry the surface of the cornea which will help the, uh, the markings show up better. I place the Mendez ring in position aligning the 0 and 180 degrees and then I use the toric marker to help me uh, mark the cornea. Now once the cornea is marked, I will bring use a Maltzman instrument to help me get the lens into the general ballpark. Because there's viscoelastic filling the capsular bag, it's okay to rotate the eye counterclockwise. You want to position the lens slightly more counterclockwise um, because the lens tends to rotate in a clockwise position. We've always been taught not to uh, manipulate the lens in a counterclockwise position, but I will show you that that's not necessarily true as long as you can uh, keep the capsule back expanded. And as you can see, once I went behind the lens to remove the viscoelastic, you can see the lens has rotated in a clockwise position. And uh, rather than having to rotate the lens 150 degrees, while the INA handpiece is under active irrigation, I'm able to rotate the, the lens in a counterclockwise position. And I won't have any worry that I'm going to tear the, the capsule because the uh, irrigation handpiece is keeping the uh, capsular back taut. The other tip that I like to share is I use my cannula to keep the anterior chamber stable um, so there's not much trampolining of the uh, anterior chamber when I withdraw my INA hand tip, the hand, the hand piece. And so I, used, I like to use my BSS cannula to keep that chamber nice and stable. And as you can see, there's perfect alignment of the toric uh, hashes along my uh, corneal markings. This is my technique for toric IOL placement and positioning. Thank you for your attention.